Right guys, we're still on the sardine run and I'm gonna show you guys two baits that you can use within the sardine run that works very well. Obviously, if you get down to the beach, the first thing you wanna do is get some fresh sardines. Hopefully they're netting in the area you are or you got to cast it with you and you get some fresh sardines because the key to the whole sardine run is to fish with sardines from the sardine run. Those frozen boxes don't work that well. If you have to, you can use them. But I prefer to get sardines from the sardine run the fish are zoned into that smell, they want that bait, and that's what they're going to eat. Right, so let me show you guys just the two basic baits which I like to use when I chase sardines or I'm on the beach and there's action. Even if there's no action, they may be netted there in the morning and you know there's still fish around in the area, these baits work very well for me. Right guys, so obviously in the sardine run, you get onto the beach and there's fish breaking everywhere. The best bait to use is going to be a whole sardine because that's what the fish are eating. They're all focused on the sardine washing around or swimming around. So the best bait is just a plain whole sardine and all you're gonna do is just hook it through the head like that. And I always take a cable tie because if you cast it, it sometimes comes off. And I just secure the hook like that with a cable tie, cut the cable tie off And that is obviously the best bait you can use in the sardine run. Lob that into the surf near the bait fish and near the game fish and you will get a bite. Right guys, so obviously this is going to be the nicest bait to cast. But if you get those days where the surf's quite big or the sardines are 60, 70, 80 or further out, you're obviously not going to get this bait within the sardines. So then you've got to change your strategy a bit and you're going to have to make this bait smaller, a bit more aerodynamic and get the distance. So what I do then is, okay, I'm just going to take this out. And time is an issue because you, the adrenaline is going, people are catching fish, you don't want to spend hours on the bait. So I've got a quick way of quickly cutting a sardine up, making it a bit smaller, putting my dingle in, clipping it on to get the distance, get the sardine in the shallow fish that's further out. Alright, so my, my quick bait to cast for is very simple. I take my sardine, I cut it in half like that, split it open, almost halfway, and the only reason I split it open is to release the flavor and get my dingle in, take my tail section and do the same. Cut that in half. So left with those three pieces of bait, I grab my dingle, push it into the sardine, like that. Put my hook through my dingle, like that. Close it up. All right, so we've got our dingle inside the sardine like that. Grab our cotton and quickly cut the net on like that. Right, so after we've got the net on, I just grab a fillet, put it on like that. So you can decide if you want the smelly side in or out. I like that one. Smelly side out with the meat out, and on this one, I'll put shiny side on the outside. So, if the water is nice and clean, that shine of the sardine lying on the bottom will get the fish's attention, and there's a bit of smell coming at the same time. So, this the whole idea of this bait is must be quick to make, and you want to get it into the sardine action as fast as possible. All right, so we finish it off with our off features. And that's a bit more of an aerodynamic bait. You can trim it a bit if you want, but the whole purpose of this bait for me is to make it very fast. Because if there's gonna be a lot of guys on the beach chasing those fish, you wanna be in the water first. Clip your sink on there, and you get the distance you need to get to those fish. 